Now, people, the video that you just saw, we are speaking of one of the purse that was taken out during the incident that took place maybe about Friday night, Friday in at the midnight, when a popo was conned up and taken out. I am speaking about a constable from the Hunts Bay Popo station, and his name is Kemar Francis. So, people, the video that you just witnessed, we are speaking about one of the alleged shooter. And his name is Chevan Johnson, O.C. Bonwiz. Now, people, in that song, he is dancing. It seems as if he was at some sort of dance, Ray Te Lele, Blue Blah Bling. And he was claiming, he was alleging that he was guard up. And people, what that means, he had some sort of obering. What that means that nobody can take him out. We are speaking about the popo. We are speaking about his gangsters. We are speaking about the apps. However, people, we see that he was wrong point blank and period now people when we think about the situation as it pertains to the shutter these so-called we are speaking about g-u-n-m-e-n it seems as if they are hard-headed it seems as if they don't see the very disturbing trend that is taking place it seems as if they are not realizing they are not reading the notice board it seems as if they are not getting the memo that the popo is taking them out rapidly and it seems as if they don't learn like i said before and people this is yet a next perfect example because we see that in this case he overestimated the power of his gathering and he underestimated the power of the popo law enforcement and also karma because because people, the truth and the fact that whatever bad that you do, it will always come back to haunt you. And karma always catches up. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. We're speaking about Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. We're speaking about True Jamaica Buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon, and also press all in the option. Now, people, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the crime situation, the slap away situation, we are speaking about the thief in situation, the two foot person, the hyena is in, in Jamaica. It is amped up. And we see that it is getting worse and worse every day. So, people, we have to ask the question because people like them say desperate times cause for a desperate measure. Do you think that Jamaica should implement? We are speaking about the DEATH penalty. Do you think that persons that are charged? And we are speaking about convicted of serious crimes. They should be taken out. We are speaking about immediately. Now, people, we have to also weigh the pros and the cons because it's short and the facts that you have to also remember that whenever anybody is sentenced or if you sentence anybody to that and you take them out, you have to make sure that that person is actually guilty and that person is not innocent. And people, like I've always said, life is not a video game. You can press restart and start over. May I talk about if you make a decision, you have to be 100% sure that you are correct. So people, we are speaking about that is one of the cons of the whole thing. Now, other con of the whole thing is the fact that as it pertains to these popo, these investigators, you have to ask the question, can you trust most of these popos that are out there? Can you trust most of these investigators that are out there? Do you think that they basically bring all sorts of false evidence, false testimony to court? So people, the question that we have to ask is this. What is going to happen if an investigator goes to court and he gives false testimony and because of that false testimony that person is convicted and then basically sentence we are talking about to be taken out people is that going to be justice and we have to also understand as it pertains to the justice system the judicial system in a jamaica it is not fair there is two different separate parts we are speaking about for the rich for the politicians and for the poor so people that again is one of the cons 
And the worst kind of it all is that you have to remember that most of the persons that are arrested, we are speaking about persons from the garrison. We are speaking about poor people. And people understand as it pertains to the justice system, justice can be sold. So therefore, if you have a proper lawyer, if you have proper legal representation, it could be the difference of you being convicted, of you being guilty or innocent. So people, the man that has the money, he is going to have an overwhelming advantage over the person that don't have any sort of money and people you understand as it pertains to jamaica jamaica is a place that is classes so therefore if you know this person if you're in the link of link more than likely you can also beat your case whether you are innocent or not however people like i said there is a pro and then there is a con however a lot of persons are going to only look at the pros and we are speaking about it will be a deterrent for all of those persons that are creating chaos and catastrophe. We are talking about the crime producer, we are talking about the shatter them, we are talking about the thief, the robber them, the two foot puss and the two foot hyena. We are speaking about all sorts of criminal elements in Jamaica and people. We see that it is getting worse and worse. So therefore, if you set an example, if you have a law on the book saying that whenever you do certain things, whenever you do anything sort of extreme, your punishment is also going to be extreme so we are speaking about like the punishment for the crime rate lay lay blue blah bling so the major pro to the whole thing is that it is going to be a major deterrent for all sorts of criminal elements and also the fact that we are going to save billions and millions of dollars we are speaking about taxpayers money because the truth and the fact that if person know that they are going to be taken out upon the spot or asap so my point is that if justice is served quick and fast, quick, 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 that means that we're going to save a whole lot of money. We are speaking about on taxpayers. So therefore, we won't have to house these persons for decades upon top of decades, basically until they pass away. We are talking about in the big yard. So people, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think that it should be implemented or do you think that the law is okay like it is? We just need proper policing. We just need a proper justice system to make sure that they are monitoring everything and have everything under order point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now people the first part of the video is called portland and st thomas is back on the map again and people when i speak about portland i am not speaking about boston jerk pork and when i speak about st thomas i am not speaking about we are speaking about the obia thing no people i am speaking about that thing that is called the vervine weed and it is said to be the magic potion as it pertains to the big C. Now, people, we know that the big C has been plaguing. We are speaking about it is a pandemic all over the place. Jamaica all over the world. And people, people in Jamaica, they are afraid right now. Because I think that we have in excess of almost 5,600 or 5,700 cases the last time that I checked. Now, people, you also know that Jamaica is known worldwide. We are speaking about it is worldwide recognized for all of its medical herbs, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling, and people. I am not speaking about the Bob Marley. So people like them say them have a new thing, and it is allegedly treating persons infected with the big C. Now, people, this is my disclaimer once again. I am not going to tell people that this is working. I am just saying that what is out there. And based on the information, it is said that it is in very high demand as it pertains to Portland and St. Thomas and it is said that the vendors and also the Iglas they are buying it up point blank and period so people may have talk about it is hot point blank and period it is said to be the miracle we are talking about herb and um, people like me say there is no medical research out there this is my disclaimer i am not saying that it is work and um, people like them say believe kills and also believe cures so therefore if you believe it is always a mental thing however people let me know if you know anything about this if you've ever tried it and it make you feel better if it has ever cured anything for you let me know and based on information it is said that this herb it blooms some sort of purple flowers so people that is how people know what it is or where it can be found and we are speaking about portland we are speaking about st thomas 
And people, I think that it is those two parishes because they are bordering. I think that it is because of the close proximity, the same climate, the same soil. That is why it blooms or that is why it grows in those two specific areas. Now, people, when we see all these multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical company with all of them top, we are speaking about scientists, Rete, Lele, we are speaking about researchers, and they are spending billions of dollars to basically come up with a cure for the big C. Now, people, is it kind of ironic if a country like Jamaica or a little simple weed, like we are talking about the vervine weed, comes up to be the cure for everything, people, they would be shamed, they would be shocked and awe. And people like them say, Jamaica is a very small place with little but with Talawa. And based on the fact that we are also known for other medical herbs that are found only in Jamaica, I would not be surprised. However, people, I am not validating or verifying that this is indeed the C-U-R-E for the big C. Me just I say I am just informing you. So therefore, don't con up the messenger, con up the message, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.